What do you want to be when you grow up? My answer has always been a ballerina. Watching the older girls gracefully twirl around in their tutus, laughing together as they put on their pink shoes, I wanted to be just like them. Move like them, feel beautiful, graceful, capture the emotion of a song with just the movement of my arms. Moving from the small, delicate ballet shoes to the sturdy, demanding point shoes, I soon learned that dancing on your toes makes you feel like you can fly. I spent years in dance classes, eventually moving up to teach my own. My little sister even became one of my dance students. Getting to share my passion with her was priceless. After recovering from a car accident, I started to realize that my body wasn't acting the same. My knees were swelling, aching, hurting, sticking. It got so bad that sometimes I couldn't walk at all. After a few bad dislocations, I went to a doctor who told me I had been born with a patella knee syndrome, which the car accident had brought to light, and that my dancing days were behind me. I was shocked, speechless, sobbing. This wasn't the plan. I finished out the dance season wearing multiple knee braces at my last show. To this day, I can still smell the hairspray, see the glitter shimmer, feel the butterflies in my stomach before the curtain opens. Dance was my identity. It was my friend group, my mentors, and my dream. When it was all taken away from me, it was hard not to be mad at my body, mad at my knees for letting me down. Even though I knew there was nothing I could have done, it was just how I was born. I had to find a new identity now, a new focus, and it took me a while to come to terms with the fact that I was going to be okay. I have come to understand that none of us are defined by one thing, one skill, or one dream. If I hadn't stopped dancing, maybe I would have never picked up a camera. Maybe I never would have left my home state. And maybe I never would have met the love of my life. Nothing is certain, and sometimes we need to embrace the unknown.